नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई YouTube वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन जनरल थ्योरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी लेक्चर नंबर फाइव इन विच आई हैव गिवेन द लॉजिक्स बिहाइंड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फील्ड इक्वेशन इन जनरल थ्योरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी नाउ I will solve a question. Discuss the reasons which led Einstein to choose the field equations in the form R mu nu Ricci tensor minus half G mu nu. This is metric tensor, and R be the constant due to Ricci tensor. Equal to minus eight pi t mu nu. T mu nu be the energy momentum tensor. We have to solve this with proper logic. Since field equation in classical mechanics be nalla square psi equal to minus four pi gamma rho. This is number equation. Here, psi be the gravitational potential, gamma be the Newtonian constant of gravitation, and rho be the density of the material distribution. This is the form of field equation in classical mechanics. Now, we have to find the reason why this equation one is changed to this equation. By Einstein. Now we give the logic for this. Principle of general covariance states that the laws must be expressible in a form which is independent of the particular space-time coordinates chosen. Or, in other words, laws of nature remains. invariant with respect to any space time coordinate system since the tensor equation has same form in all system of coordinates so we must express all our laws by means of covariant equations and we may do this by the use of tensor calculus that is through tensor equations which remain the same form in all system of coordinates as we have already discussed during discussion of principle of covariance that a tensor is symmetric in a particular system of coordinates then it is symmetric in all system of coordinates if a tensor is skew symmetric in a particular system of coordinates then it is skew symmetric in all system of coordinates if a tensor vanishes in a particular system then it will vanish in all system of coordinates so the tensor equation remains invariant in all system of coordinates so to cope with this situation means to meet with principle of general covariance we have to use the tensor calculus to form the equations of the nature so that it will remain invariant in all coordinate systems so the equation 1 should be expressed in the form of tensor equation and at the same time when we turn equation 1 into tensor equation we must have to obey the principle of general equivalence during discussion of principle of equivalence i have already discussed that inertial mass 
and gravitational mass are equivalent. Similarly, here the terms psi, gamma, rho must be changed to another quantity so that it will obey the principle of equivalence. We know that the psi gravitational potential is the function of position coordinates and also we know that the metric tensor g mu nu is the function of position coordinates therefore the gravitational potential psi must be replaced by some function of metric tensor g mu nu in equation 1 left hand side contains second order derivative of psi naula square naula is i unit vector partial derivative with respect to x plus j unit vector partial derivative with respect to y plus k unit vector partial derivative with respect to z and its square will be second order derivative with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to z that is second order derivative with respect to position coordinates so the left hand side of field equation in general relativity will be expressed in terms of second order derivative of metric tensor g mu nu we know that the most appropriate tensor which contains second order derivative of g mu nu is the Ricci tensor r mu nu hence left hand side of one will be either Ricci tensor r mu nu or its linear combination now our problem for replacing of psi is solved by the principle of equivalence since rho be the density of the material distribution that is rho is related to mass and in a special theory of relativity we found the equivalence of mass and energy during discussion of energy momentum tensor it has already been discussed that in place of mass energy and momentum of special theory of relativity the term energy momentum tensor may be introduced in general theory of relativity as Ricci tensor r mu nu is a second rank covariant tensor which will be in the left hand side of the equation therefore right hand side of the equation will contain a second rank covariant tensor since energy momentum tensor t mu nu is the second rank covariant tensor and it is equivalent to mass energy momentum in special theory of relativity that is it is equivalent to rho so by replacing rho in right hand side we may write energy momentum tensor t mu nu so on the basis of above facts that is we have already given the logic to transfer the equation in classical mechanics to general relativity the field equation in general theory of relativity may be written as a left side r mu nu Ricci tensor plus a r g mu nu this is metric tensor a b constant r b constant for Ricci tensor equal to minus k t mu nu t mu nu be the energy momentum tensor where k stands for Einstein constant of gravitation and k equal to 8 pi 
देयरफॉर इक्वेशन टू रेड्यूसेस टू आर म्यूनियू प्लस ए आर जी म्यूनियू इक्वल टू इन प्लेस ऑफ के वी राइट एट पाई माइनस एट पाई टी म्यूनियू दिस इक्वेशन थ्री मे बी रिटेन एज मिक्स टेंसर आर म्यूनियू प्लस ए आर मिक्स टेंसर जी म्यूनियू इक्वल टू माइनस एट पाई मिक्स टेंसर टी म्यूनियू टेकिंग कोहेरियन डेरिवेटिव इन बोथ साइड्स वी गेट हियर वी राइट कॉमा म्यू मीन्स कोहेरियन डेरिवेटिव ऑफ लेफ्ट साइड here also we have written comma mu of right side and this will be equal to zero because the covariant derivative of energy momentum tensor is always zero we have already proved this earlier so right side will be zero this is equation 4 since we know that r i j minus half g i j this is a mixed tensor this is also mixed tensor r covariant derivative with respect to x j is zero this is equation 5 comparing 4 and 5 we get that in place of a here we have minus half therefore a equal to minus half putting this value of a equal to minus half in theory we get r mu nu minus half r g mu nu equal to minus 8 pi t mu nu which is the field equation in general theory of relativity therefore we come to the conclusion that how einstein thought to frame the Field equation in general theory of relativity from the idea of field equation in classical mechanics. So we achieved our goal. Thanks for watching my video. If you are satisfied with my presentation and contents, then please click on like button and do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.